Howdy, hey. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> How you doing, baby? You good? You straight? You shy? All right. This Bob is just hitting me just right, right over the top of the car. But anywho, um, bear with me now with my voice and shit because me and the girls are getting over this little three-day thing that we had. Shit was horrible. It almost felt like the flu, but it was gone. Three days. It was pretty much good. Day four, feeling great, okay? So, I feel, oh, sorry. Parents, get on up in here. <laughs> Let's talk. Let's Let's vibe. So, I feel like a lot of times, in today's society, when it comes to talking about, you know, doing something for one's kid or children, kid, child or children. <laughs> I don't know why in my head I kept thinking kids or children. That is not right. <laughs> it's child or children. But we're just kind of afraid to give commentary on certain things because in today's society it's like if somebody wants to say the, the fucking line of don't be trying to tell me how to raise my kids don't be trying to tell nobody how to raise their kids or what to do with their kids and it's like it goes all the way back to could have swore y'all be saying all the time <laughs> it take a village and when a motherfucker trying to find a village and trying to throw out shit to find a village you just want to shut that shit down and just don't be, you think you need to be the one telling somebody how to do something with their kids don't be trying to tell nobody how to raise their kids let's just leave kids out of it like Okay, at what point are we going to talk about the fucking kids thing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, for real, though. At what point are we going to talk about the fucking kids? There's all kinds of things happening to the kids. It's horrible. It's It's horrible. So when the fuck are we going to talk about taking care of the kids if we don't want nobody to say nothing about the damn kids? Now you have the discernment to pick and choose because everybody has a platform, whether they choose to use it or not. You have the right and the discernment to choose who you want to be a part of your village, who you want to listen to. And just like with books, just like with media, there's going to be some, you know, fakes amongst the real. Some not so good amongst the good. But you have to figure out what works for you and who helps you. It's kind of like taking guidance. You never know. You might have came across that. Think about it now. You might have came across that person's video. And there may have there may be a need. There may be a need there for you. Something there is for you to see, to realize. For your journey. You don't know. Not to just go and listen to it and then say something about, you know, just any hill. Oh, I can go on forever about that, but you get the gist. That really is the gist. With that being said, I feel as though when it comes to the children, that we should be talking to them very early. 
when it comes to their body parts, especially nowadays. Like, I know for me, I got somewhat of a talk, but not really of a talk. Not like a full-on talk talk. I didn't get the sex talk until after I had sex. <laughs> uh, too late. <laughs> um, but nowadays with the access of media and just different things, and they can just they can just get get into shit so fast, and we're so quick to give them a cell phone. You know, I want to give my girl a cell phone so bad, but I just see how she is. With her Nintendo right now, and I'm like, baby, I think that's all you need to. Uh uh-uh. uh. Maybe we just need a watch that's like associated with a phone and not an actual phone. Like, you don't need something like that in your hands just yet. And I know how, you know, her mind is. And I know how a lot of things today is just kind of like, you know, kids feel like if you don't tell me, I can just go look it up on the internet. What are they? have a cell phone they can do it or you in a state that got restrictions or they can get on the home computer they got a laptop they got an ipad or or or, you know a tablet whatever the hell but we have to try to beat the system because if you don't talk to your kid about it you know who they're gonna talk to about it with their fucking friends. Or they're going to hear about it from kids on the bus. My daughter's father got so upset because of something that she said or brought up to him. Oh, it was about a, a little kid on the bus. Like, I think he had touched her. Like, he had touched her butt or whatever. And, um, He was just kind of like, really, and I understood why he was upset. Um, It wasn't an issue because he's just like, you know, I want her to, to defend herself. And I want like, what's wrong with these kids? Do I need to come down? And what's wrong with, and I'm like, you can't come down nowhere (laughs) and check no damn kids. First of all, because they got parents. Second of all, you just need to get on your shit we need to talk to our child about certain things. I've already started talking to her. This is why she knows that when the kid touched her where they did, she knew immediately it was inappropriate. She knew immediately she didn't like it. And she knew immediately to tell him not to fucking do that shit. So there was that. But his whole thing is it's like he wants her to fight so bad. He wants her to just be a fighter like him. And his family, so he says, so bad. And I'm like, not every child is the same. They're not all going to be the same. But she does not want to fight. This is my little peaceful baby. My little peaceful peacefulness. <laughs> she don't want to fight. She's just like, I don't understand why people can't just leave you alone. If you don't want to be bothered, just leave, leave you alone. And I'm like, baby, that's just people. That's just people's. Mm-hmm. But again, going back to the main topic of just like, you know, telling kids about themselves, teaching them about their parts, teaching them about other people's parts, the other person's parts, that they're not the same as theirs. And then you're going to have to have the sex talk way early. It's unfortunate. It really fucking is. But it's going to have to happen earlier than somebody like me. <laughs> it really is. Because, again, my shit didn't come to I was all, I had already done something. Now, granted, for me and my time frame, <laughs> I didn't have sex until I was like 17, 18. So there's that for me. But at the time, when I was in high school, I mean, people as young as freaking ninth graders had sex. So you do it as you will as far as the time frame you feel for the area that you live in and, you know, for what your kid is kind of exposed to or what you see that they're exposed to. Um, 
Yeah, because shit, stuff is real out here. And people are resorting to all kinds of things and doing all kinds of things. And the last thing we want to do is to taint our youth. Like, our youth are important at every stage. Like, until they get to, you know, literal, okay, this is you. Until they get to that point where, and I was thinking about this shit last night. Until they get to the point where that innocent, childlike, greatness about kids where there's like no fear and then the very next day to where it changes and then they have fear they know what fear really is yeah that's when that's yeah (sighs) well I just hope you receive this message I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for showing up for yourself. I love you. Take care of yourself. Drink your damn water. <laughs> and mind your goddamn business. I know somebody going to say it. I heard it. I heard it. You ain't minding your business, trying to get you out of here. You can't get a whoop and say it ain't true. Then you can do it ain't true. Look what, look at you and your kid and figure out your relationship with your kid and why. You, I already hear it. I already hear it. It has already been transmitted, <laughs> and it has hit me positively. And then whatever was not transmitted is just, you know, it's just sent back where it's supposed to be, you know. <laughs> but um anywho <laughs> I fucking love you bro